Welcome back. And this week, in this week of magic, we are about two, two, was it two weeks? We are about two, a week and a half, sorry, yeah, we're about a week and a half away from our actual official spoilers for Almond Cat. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited for Almond Cat. It's going to be a good time. Um, so I figured I'd get one more speculation Almond Cat video out, and then I'll do all just a standard top ten list for next week. Um, and in this one, we are talking about, and I want to get his name right, Razaketh. Razaketh, the third demon Liliana is going after. What is could his card be? What what's the storyline going to be like when? What is it going to show? All this. So to to know about Razaketh, you need to know at least a little, the basics about Liliana, which for any magic player worth their salt who has any idea how the lore goes probably didn't understand. But really brief, Liliana is a pre actually a pre melding planeswalker, so she used to be a god like uh, have power similar to Bolas. Well, power similar to Boss. Her power used to be something in Kindle, like what Bolas used to be when he was at full power. Point being is that to retain her, she made a pack before demons, and unfortunately, being you have your soul bound, and you know, to uh, the oath of a demon is not that uh, fun, and it comes with a cost. So Liliana has been uh, going on a uh, pilgrimage to kill off the demons she made her oath. So she. Her first demon she killed was Ko uh, Kothoped. Ko yeah. Kothope <sighs> Kothoped, the Soul Hoarder. Or Kothoped Soul Hoarder. And then on, uh, no, I don't, I can't remember which plane that was on, but then she killed Grizzlebrand on Innistrad. Now, with Amonkhet coming, a Tezzeret revealed the name of a demon, uh, the third demon, Razaketh, who is said to be stronger than either Ko uh, Kothoped or. Or, or or grizzle band now brand now we can only assume the fourth demon is the strongest but this this gave Liliana a pause because Liliana is stronger than she was when she fought both grizzle brand and Kothaben, uh having killed both these guys uh so for this guy to be strong enough to make her concerned even now it, it, it is something to consider which is why this is one of, some, one of the reasons she like uh, joined with the gay, guild pack, so that they'd be able to help her with her battles. I'm sure she'll try to manipulate Gideon and Nyssa to help her kill the demon or whatever. But the question becomes is, what can we expect out of Razaketh? I'm, I'm assuming it's pronounced Razaketh. Well, to understand what we can expect out of him, we first got to understand how the other demon, uh, two demon lords played out. Uh, now, first, also... I don't think he's going to show up in the first set. I actually think he's going to show up in the second set because that's when everything's going to come to a head. You're not going to just have him show up in the first set, set story-wise, unless it makes sense. So, so story-wise, for things to keep play out, um, for, the, for things to play out where him showing up in the first set, he's going to have to show up early. Uh, maybe taunt Liliana and saying, you know, so your payment is running, is is coming due, Liliana. And, say, yeah, la, la, la. and then, you know, when comes the second hour of conversation, she, I don't know, she goes and tries to kill him. Now, whether or not she succeeds or not, that's debatable. I have a feeling she is because I have a feeling they're leaning towards taking Liliana to a full-on Liliana revive, Liliana freed kind of thing. Um... That type of card. You're basically her free of the demon packs. But, but I, I feel more confident that he's actually going to show up in Hour of Devastation. He might be a multicolor demon. I think that's actually a possibility because I'm leaning to the idea that, excuse me, uh, Amon Kent might be a multicolor block because uh, Modern Masters is actually a multicolor set. Um, they're, they've always been leaning more towards a heavier multicolor theme, at least for supplementary purposes. But I think it's very possible that Amon Kent is. At least in part, um, like a heavier multicolor than, say, the last couple sets. Like, instead of 25 cards out of the, I want to say it's like 90 or 200 something cards, like out of, I think it's like 230 or something like that. Let's say out of 25, then said, let's say there's like 50 that are multicolor. That could make, that could make a bit more sense. Um, but looking at the actual cards themselves, assuming that Raza Keth is a stronger demon than both uh, Kothoped. Uh, and yeah, that's a weird name to say. Soul Order and Grizzlebrand. Well, one, we gotta look at Monocost. Monocost alone, uh, Kothoped was 6 mana, 2 black and 8 color. Grizzlebrand was a full on 8 mana. 
And he's supposedly stronger than both these – Ross Seketh is supposedly stronger than both these guys. Now, I don't know if that's going to translate into mana costs. Like he's going to be like 9 mana or 10 mana. I don't think that's the case. If nothing else, he's going to be tied to Grizzle Brand for the amount of mana he costs. But I think he will at the very least be 7 mana. I think that, that would be a solid, um, solid place to put him at. But also, it's power and toughness. Now, again, Copaleth, both these guys are flyers, and I think uh, Razaketh will also be a flying demon. Most demons tend to be flyers. Copaleth came in at a 6-6. Six, six. Grizzlebrand came in at a 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, if we're talking strength in terms of physicality, that means this guy's probably going to be at least an 8-8 eight, eight or 8-7 eight, or something like that. But I don't think that's the case. In fact, if anything, he's either going to be... Tied, he's either going to be a 6-6 six, six like Kothoped or a 7-7 or a seven, seven like Grizzlebrand. I say that because I don't think his him being stronger than these two comes from his actual strength. I think it's his physical, uh, his actual special abilities. Now, each of these guys have a unique ability or ability unique to them. Gothaped was a whenever a permanent owned by another player is put into the grave from the battlefield, you draw a card. So basically, he was a drawer, but you did lose a life. But he would constantly give you cards no matter what. Now, was this a May ability or was it a have to? Um, no, yeah, you draw. So that was that was a well, both an advantage and a disadvantage. Because if that started to happen too much, like if someone wiped the field, uh, then you could end up losing all your life. But you'd usually play him in decks where life gain would not, life drain would not be an issue. Grizzlebrand also has a similar ability. Well, similar ability. He also has another pay a life ability, or you get something for losing a life. He had pay seven, draw seven cards. Plus, he had lifelink and flying. So he could actually compensate for the loss of life you had, which made him a huge staple in, um, I think, Constructed and Standard, from the little I know about those formats back then. But Raza Kath is, again, supposedly stronger than either of these guys. So what abilities could this guy have that makes him more dangerous in terms of a card slash lore of, um, um, form than... Grizzlebrand. Well, one, he's going to have flying, but two, I think he's going to have a secondary, like, evergreen ability. Either first strike, death touch, or trample, I think would be the big key ones. I think he's going to have something to do with minus one, minus one counters, because it's seen, because from everything, from the little we can gather from there, from the little bit from the Liliana card we saw spoiled, it seems like, and because it's a graveyard based set, it seems like, um, minus one, minus one counters might be, a, may be a thing. And, Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one counters are no joke, especially when you're dealing with a card that's basically a board controller. This this guy could very well be a board controller. And then I have a feeling he's going to have a secondary ability to go with the minus one, minus one. Like any time a minus one, minus one counter is put on a creature or any time a creature with a minus one, minus one counter dies, so-and-so ability takes place. Like, for instance, draw a card or... Um, uh, or gain a light, gain a certain amount of life, something along those lines. It's going to be something that, that it's going to coincide with his minus one, minus one ability. But I feel very confident about the minus one, minus one right now. We're going to have to wait and see on that. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's really hard to say. Now, in let's also be clear. In terms of the lore, he's stronger than Grizzlebrand and Copahead or whatever. That guy, the first one. In terms of card, we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, it, it's really, it's really gonna be interesting to see Wizards kind of push the boundary, and keep pushing the boundaries of how strong you can make a creature before it just becomes too strong. Um, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on this. I I look, I I can't wait for this. More than anything, I can't wait to see uh, the set as a whole. But crocodile dragons can't wait for snake people, crocodile people. That was one other video I was going to make, but um, no, it's a video I could still make, so I'll save it for that. But let's yeah, say, crocodile people who are either actual crocodile people or machinos, snake people I think is a very, like, is a possibility again. Um, uh, crocodile dragons are a thing, are a thing in this set. Uh, snakes and crocodiles are a thing. I love the reptile. I love the reptile because they were heavily worshipped in Egyptian mythology, and therefore they will be a bigger... Um, bigger 
part of this world than some of the other worlds. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. If you have an idea for who would win, what if, superhero video, Star Wars video, magic video, anything I do with the channel, please put it in the comments below. Let me know. I will get to it at some point. I'd like to make you guys part of the channel in some way, shape, or form. Um, tonight will be our, yeah, to, it, I, again, pre-recording it, but it'll be on Thursday when this comes out. So tonight will be Power Rangers. Uh, I'm looking, I'm kind of looking forward to it, honestly. Uh, hope it, I hope it's good. But, um, yeah, Power Rangers and Life will be later this week. I do, I am going to see Life because I want to see Life. Life looks really freaky and awesome. Uh, so Life and Power Rangers later this week. But anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, um, Box Office will be later. It's like, well, oh, sorry, my mustache is causing this little white speck right above my lip. Um, which is my lip. Um... Yeah, and box office. And, of course, um, vlogs for Dragon Ball Super and Samurai Jack. But anyway, thanks for watching. See